So, we had the Grizzlies against the Mavs, who were without Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. And of course, the Grizz without Steven Adams and Jamor. And David Rowley picks up the slide here. And he was spectacular all night long, which we'll get to even more. Dylan Brooks continues to talk, saying Luka wants to duck the matchup and the physicality. So, yeah. Fuck you, Dylan Brooks. <clears throat> nah, he's doing his job well. That's for sure. And the Mavs actually played really well, even though there was no uh, Luka or Kyrie. They had an 11-point lead here after the Josh Green three-pointer. Three-pointer. And the Mavs were actually playing really well, even defensively, which was great to see. David Rohde from the corner. And he was the probably best player on the Grizzlies tonight, man. He was absolutely spectacular. And... Despite everything, it's a tie game after this Jaden Hardy three-pointer. Spectacular step back from him. He had a good night, but the inexperience showed from him today, especially with the passes in the clutch. And my God, what a pass. Desmond Bain hits the wide open corner three-pointer for the four-point Lin. Lin lead and the Grizzlies win. And uh, Jaden Hardy had some turnovers, like I said, in that clutch. And that was unfortunate because that didn't help at all, but... And that was unfortunate and didn't help at all, unfortunately, but I uh, mean, he's a young player and he's gonna gain a lot of experience with this and he had a really good game otherwise. As for the Grizzlies, Desmond Bain had an okay game. I'll once again, Xavier Tillman has been playing really well overall and Tyus Jones had a really good fourth quarter and Santi Aldama with David Roddy were the, probably the stars tonight. David Roddy had 24 and 4 on 10 of 13 shooting in 23 minutes, man. Santi Aldama with 10 and 5 in 22 minutes. Both were just spectacular, brought the energy the Grizzlies needed, especially offensively, because the starters were just struggling very badly with offense tonight. And it was, some of it was Mavs defense, and some of it was just, I don't know, man, they just looked uh, bad. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's all I can say, really. And as for the Mavs, of course, Luka day to day, so we'll see when he's going to be able to return. They said it's gonna be as long, uh, um, pardon me, as soon as he does not feel the pain. So, might be a week, might be two, who, who knows, man. We'll see. But I would not expect him to be sidelined for more than a week. But, of course, this is pure speculation. So, for the Mavs, Jaden Hart is gonna get some minutes, which is great. 22 points, solid night from him. Those costly turnovers did suck, but what can you do, man? Gotta gain the experience somehow. Tim Hardaway and Josh Green were both really well, no, well, well, really good. <laughs> and the bench didn't play well. Christian Wood played 15 minutes, 14 points without Luca and Kyrie. So that was something. And Jason Kidd talked about it post game, and he said that they have a lot of depth on the you know center and forward position, which well is a lie for the goddamn sure. But what can you do when your coach thinks that, right? And Christian Wood. Of course, he's not a great defender, and I understand the reason for not playing him, but at the same time, man, you trade the first round pick for him, and you barely give him any chances. Like, it's a weird, weird thing with Jason Kidd right now, and I don't like it. And I feel like Jason Kidd's showing maybe why he's actually not a good coach. Well, not uh, certainly not a great coach, right? So... Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, this whole situation has really thrown me off Jason Kidd. And last year he was great, but this year he seems like kind of, I don't know, toxic. Maybe even... Nah, toxic is the right word. So let me know what you think about it. Do you think he's being unfair to Christian Wood or is his defense that inexcusable? But why? I mean, the Mavs don't have much time to go and their defense is inexcusable anyway so maybe just give him a chance i don't know i don't know i'm not a coach but i would do that 